Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel Brain Logic. Really interesting question today, we have 2 plus 2 plus 2 and times 0. This is a viral question and I wanted to record this video, I wanted you to learn this, this solution to this interesting question, because a lot of students do this common mistake, this is like a very easy question on the first side, because we have only multiplication, only addition, so everyone learns this stuff in the, in the third grade, so on the first side you can easily solve it, but yeah, this is a very tricky question and I want to record this video. And I suggest for you to like uh, pause the video and try to solve it by yourself we have three options option a option b option c what do you think is a correct answer it will be really interesting to check the answers in the end of the video so here's our question here's our answer choose one option what do you think is a correct okay first of all i want to start with this solution so we have two plus 2 and plus 2 and times 0. So one part of students solve it like that, this is like the most common solution, a lot of students solve it like that, they say okay, 2 plus 2 plus 2, okay, equal to equal to 6 right here, so 6, and doesn't matter what number you multiply on the on the left hand side, we have 6 times 0 equal to 0, and doesn't matter, you will have like for example 1000, times zero, we will have we will have zero. Yeah. So as you can see, one part of students solve it like that. They say, okay, multiplying by zero doesn't matter what number on the left hand side. So the correct answer is is option A. This is the first approach, and a lot of students solve it like that. And right now I want to say that this is absolutely wrong solution for us because we cannot like jump from addition to multiplication. We cannot do whatever we want from from left to right. We need to walk according to a correct order of operation. This is the main rule in the math. So in math, so we need to know how can we solve it correctly and without like mass uh, mass rules yeah and for this question i have this pmdmc order of operation and let's solve this question according to a correct order of operation this is like a mass order of operation and i want to say that i respect every order of operation for example pmdmc board mass and in this case doesn't matter pmdmc board mass will have the same and a correct answer so as i told before this is absolutely wrong solution so we need to look at it in another perspective because this is like uh, we learned this um, rule on the mass lesson right here on the mass class and we know that multiplying by zero equal to zero we know it and we solve it as whatever we want we just uh, think that this is six times zero equal to zero which is absolutely incorrect so let's think in another perspective so we have two plus two plus two and times zero because obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer right so we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem addition addition multiplication or multiplication addition addition or like addition multiplication addition so a lot of combination and obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer right and let's solve this question according to pmdmc this pmdmc works from the top to the bottom and let's look at this first step according to pmdmc is parentheses yeah let's look at it where do we have maybe parentheses let's look at it no i don't see any parentheses so we just we just skip this part which is which is really great because with parentheses this question like uh, will be like more complicated for us okay exponents what about exponents i don't see any exponent which is really good as well because with exponent is the question will be like more complicated so we just reject these two steps which is really good for us yeah we don't have any parentheses exponent this is this is really good Okay, the next step, multiplication and division part, so this is one group, and now we need to scan where do we have multiplication or division signs. Let's look at it. Addition, this is not our case, addition, not our case. Here we have multiplication right here in the end, but multiplication is applying to these two numbers, two and zero. This is like a key moment right here. So we have multiplication, yeah, we have it. And we don't have division, so we just we just skip this part. So our first step is to multiply, as you can see, after first rejected steps, we need to multiply it first. So we have two plus two in the beginning, but this two times zero, this is our first really important steps. Two times zero equal to equal to zero. Okay, so we just completed this step with multiplication and let's go to the next step, addition and subtraction group. We don't have any subtraction group, so we reject this step, but we have addition group, yeah? We have addition group, so we just need to do this addition, which is very easy for most of students because this is like 2 plus 2 plus 0 equal to equal to equal to 4, which is option option C. So after this explanation, we have a completely different answer. We have option C, which is, of course, absolutely correct for us, because we solve it according to a correct order of operation. We solve it not like wherever we want, right here, addition, then multiplication. According to a correct order of operation, we solve it, and our correct answer is 
Our correct answer is option. Option C is a correct answer. But let's go back to this question. If you put parentheses right here, really important step, if you put parentheses brackets right here, then we need to start from these parentheses and if these parentheses, correct answer is zero, which is a really great trick for you. If you have parentheses, you need to start from these parentheses all the time. But right here we don't have parentheses, so the first step is multiplication and then addition. And on this paper you can easily see that multiplication is before, before addition, which is a very tricky moment and most of you forget about it, most of you... I hope you know about it and it's really great if your answer is 4, but really bad if your answer is 0, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. I wish you all the best in your mathematic adventure and I hope you understand this explanation as well. Wish you all the best, see you in the next videos and take care of yourself, have a great day!